Hello everyone, thanks for stopping in. And uh, my name is Warren Martin. And this next video, I'm gonna talk about the rehab hospital. Up to this point, I've talked about the stroke itself and you know, a week in ICU. So next thing here is the rehab hospital. So, um, and I make these videos, you know, hopefully you know, people who've had a stroke and they've watched videos in the book I'm working on with, you know, within a week of having their stroke, because you know, it's kind of a guide to know what's going on. Cause that's something I found there was a little bit of a lack of, not intentional lack of information. It just, you just didn't know. There's so much going on, you know, some people don't, I'll let you know so anyway so the rehab possible so for me you know i would got icu got sent to rehab we got over there on a monday night they, they in process you they get you a room and um you know the hot in rehab is generally three weeks the way most of them are set up and uh so you get in there the first night so now your physical condition at this point a week after stroke uh, in my case Left arm, left leg paralyzed, okay? So let no no sensation, no movement, no control, you know. And so, you know, one thing, so you're, you're, you're wheelchair bound. So you gotta get you in bed, so how to get you in bed? Now, if you're a big boy like I was at the time, I was at, I, was, I weighed 270 pounds, okay? So they have this thing called a hoist, a hoyer, and they have a nickname for it. You know, it's a canvas shell basically that they hook up, they, they put you in, hook you up and hoist you up to the ceiling and throw you in bed. And then when you get up in the morning, same thing, get, out, get you out of bed that way. Uh, they also call it a burrito bag. So that's one of the, so that's, you know, my first night there. So now first thing I did, when they hoisted me up in that, that, that uh, warrior thing, I just went, wee. I said, oh, this reminds me of jumping out of airplanes back in my army days. So anyway, so the uh, physical therapy doc came in to visit me and he just kind of went over my case and told me what was going on. And, you know, three weeks, probably be there. And um, he gave me an explanation I kind of liked. I thought I like analogies, so that's kind of me. And so he said, okay, so, you know, ba the ba you know, the, a simpler version of a stroke besides all the medical things that go on with your body and everything is he, you know, because where my room was, like it was overlooking the interstate. And he said, just imagine for a moment, you know, you're looking at that interstate and a bomb just blew up out there and blew up the interstate. And so basically that's what, that's what happened in your brain. You know, you had this little bomb go off and did a lot of damage up there. So, but now at the same time, imagine out there on that highway, you know, you got the construction crews come in and start working on it. And, you know, could take a week, a month, a year, you know, there's no telling how long it'll take, but that's what's going on in your, your brain and your body. Construction crews are in there working on it. And I said, okay. Uh, he would not give a definite timeline because of course I think all of us probably ask timelines on that. And uh, he said, you know, everybody's different. You know, everybody, while everybody's the same as far as the type of symptoms you have, the type of a disability, uh, everybody has different recovery times. You know, there's a very rare occasions where people who've had strokes say they, they get up and walk around within a week or something. You know, right? but that's a whole other situation. You know. So anyway, first morning down there, I'm sitting at a table, and uh, you get you can pick your breakfast. They'll cut you on there. You know, like if you're a diabetic, like like myself. You know, they put you on a diabetic diet. So, you know, again, we're all different, but uh, I would say a majority of stroke victims I've ran across are, you know, not a majority, but a lot of us are diabetic, high blood pressure, things like that. And back to the doctor, that was the other thing he said was the cause of the stroke. You know, generally caused by diabetics who have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, overweight. That's the cause, usually. I mean, no. A disclaimer there, perfectly healthy people, for whatever the reason, have strokes too. So it ain't that, oh, but I saw in my case, you know, I, you know, I don't place blame or blame God or anything like that. It's just, you know, I know hindsight, uh, I knew better, you know, I should take care of myself better, especially I've been in the army for 21 years. And for whatever reason, a lot of us who retire from the military, uh, stop. You know, 
a lot of the others keep going, you know, doing what they did and everything, whatever reason. And that was, that brings up another short topic about my wife who was very angry at me because I didn't listen to her. So any advice, and if you got a spouse telling you, hey, take care of yourself or do this or do that, listen to them. Because they're probably all right, right? All right. And all right, so when I started this video, I ended up with like 15 minutes, so I'm breaking it into three parts. 